So what is going on everyone? The video you're about to watch is my experience at Asado. This is in downtown palace in Dubai, an Argentinian restaurant and it was one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. So please leave the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, sit back, relax and enjoy. So it's pretty hard to miss because if you can find the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world, then Asado is right across the way from it. Okay, wow. Well. Over a shoulder so they can see yes. how we cut it. And some oh, people wow. they already know the restaurant so they come inside, they say, okay, I want this one, yeah, 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 the yeah. right shoulder. So, <laughs> yeah. so as you just heard, asado is actually the technique of cooking that is used. And you can see from the pit just over my shoulder, there's roasting the baby goat. And that's actually the speciality they have here is roasted baby goat. So I've left the whole course up to the head chef. I'm gonna let her decide what I eat and what represents the salad the best. But first impressions is the place is absolutely beautiful. The decor is amazing. The place is absolutely astonishing. And you look out the window and you have the view of the Burj Khalifa looking in. I mean, you could not put a restaurant in a better location. So the first dish out is just a bread board, a little fresh baked bread with currants through it, cheese balls, and then some salted and unsalted butter. So this is just the first board out just to get the evening rolling. So, could it have a Apple spritzer. Yeah. So, um, apple spritzer with some dried orange on the side. So, cheers. Mmm. Awesome. Absolutely amazing. So, this is the first taste of the actual grilled avocado salad. So, yeah, the presentation is just immaculate. It is. It's, it's a piece of art. It's, it's a shame to break it up. I literally feel bad digging into this. This is what I'm here to do. So this is the avocado, which is grilled, and there's some caramelized onion in the center. So first taste test. Mmm, absolutely the beautiful contrast of that creamy avocado that is grilled on top, so you get that kind of char, and then the sweet caramelized onions in the center. Then bits of pickled radish, and a beautiful little side salad as well. So as I'm gonna try one of the empanadas. So these are chicken and beef, and it is a, it's a mystery until I break into it. Chicken banana is very like a taco, it's just a pastry that is deep fried with a filling inside it. And you have this beautiful bowl of chilies as well. Let's just crack it open and see which one it is. Okay, so this is the chicken one. So let's go for a taste test. And we have some of the soy sauce too, which is a tomato salsa. Mmm. It's so light. Very, very, very light. Just literally crumbles in your mouth and you're left with it oozing. Beautiful interior then, which is sweet, salty, and it's a beautiful outside crisp to it. We try the beef one as well. Again, once you break into it, it literally just spills out. The first taste of the beef in panada. Mm. Juicy beef inside that again. Again, the pastry is what stands out to me. It is not thick. It just literally breaks and melts. And it's just the perfect carrier for that interior, which is just that beautifully cooked meat on the inside. I mean, as I've said, I don't think I've ever had a seat with such a beautiful view. The sun is setting, and I'm just looking at the Burj Khalifa as the sun goes behind it. I mean, it's, it's hard to even believe that I'm sitting here at this moment in time. That's it, perfect. Beautiful, thank you so much. So what we have here is the signature of the restaurant. This is the baby goat. So this is what we saw roasting on the spit a while ago. So again, like presentation is just absolutely beautiful. You have the beautiful 
full bits of baby goat on a slice of bread and these beautiful little pickled uh, leaves and flowers scattered around it. So I'm literally just dying to get into this. Put little bits of marble fat throughout it and you have that beautiful crackling skin from the actual roasted pit as well. So I haven't even tasted it but I know there's going to be a lot of different textures throughout this, different bits of flavour and different bits of crunch depending on where from the goat actually came from. Mm, my god the flavor and that so tender and juicy literally uh, melts in your mouth and you have a beautiful crunchy crackling on the outside so that's the beauty of when it's over a pit you have the really crispy outside but on the inside you have this moist beautiful literally falls off the fork as for taste profile it does not have an extremely significant taste very similar to lamb um, but again it depends on how you cook it it is it is cooked to perfection beautiful little pink pieces of uh, Baby goat. Total three sirloins. Three sirloins. One is a vacuum sirloin, so we are not putting that one there. Okay. Size is different. We have 400 grams one like. Yeah, beautiful. We have the 400 gram sirloin steak. So the same sirloin, but size is different. Yeah. Or lower fat. Yeah, very yeah. low. Yeah. As you can see there, the steak is going to be the main course. It's picked out. I picked the ribeye. So you have that beautiful, even before it's cooked, you can see the beautiful marble through the inside. And when that hits the grill, that begins to melt, and that is what gives steak. That's what makes steak, is that beautiful marbling throughout and gives it just this the most amazing flavor, especially when it is seared on a hot pan that keeps in that beautiful, moist, juicy flavors. As it's cooked, it's left to rest. They go back into the fibers and then that is when you get the most perfect, juicy, and I ordered medium rare steak. Mustard, yeah. pigeon, red grape, and garlic parsley. Oh wow, okay. And we have some selection of salt. We have a Bolivian uh, lake salt. Yes. This is Peru lake salt. And we have Volcano, the black salt, and the sea salt. Canera. Okay, we do have it. Uh, have this in the wine list. Okay. We, it is uh, one of the premium Malbecs that we have. It's like uh, 80 to 85% of Malbec, followed up with uh, Cabernet Franc and Marlowe. Sounds you can amazing. Try that. Cheers. Thank you so much, sir. So we have the ribeye in front of us with beautiful mushroom, with mashed potato, side sauces of pepper sauce, mushroom sauce, a bernaise, and a chimichurri. He also brought out a special selection of mustards and of salt. We have the steak on the inside, a beautiful medium rare, just what I asked for, and a little bit of that mustard as well that was recommended. This is it for, this just looks amazing. Mm. I mean, when you can chew it and swallow it that quickly, that is only a good sign. Melt in the mouth, juicy, absolutely amazing. And, and the accompaniment of that mustard, it adds a beautiful hit and a pepper sauce, absolutely amazing. No faults at all. The mushrooms are in a beautiful creamy sauce. It is literally like a piece of mushroom in a mushroom soup, but very thick. You have this strong punch of beautiful button mushrooms. And in my opinion, that's one of the best accompaniments to a steak. Is a beautiful pepper or mushroom sauce. And potatoes, mushrooms and steak. Can't not love it. Now we have this dessert cocktail that is just some molecular gastronomy, smoke coming out of it. Not sure to drink it because it may poison me, but it looks absolutely amazing. What's better than one dessert, two desserts? These look absolutely incredible. You can see when the spoon digs into them, they literally, the panna cola just slides off it and you have this beautiful molten inside of so. First taste of the chocolate and I have such a sweet tooth so. It's beautifully warm. The liquidy inside is rich and you have the beautiful crust on the outside. And the panna cotta is soft, it's airy. You have two completely different desserts. Preferably shouldn't be eaten side by side, but look, I'm not complaining. Perfect way to end the perfect meal. I mean, throughout night, honest to God, I have had not one bad thing to say about this restaurant, the service, or the food. It has been absolutely top notch. My personal favorite is the chocolate fondue because I am just a chocoholic. So one thing I didn't mention is all the ingredients are from Latin America. So from the chocolate to the goat to the salad. So the main ingredients that they produce on the plate all come from Latin America. So they're really trying to hone in on local produce like to that region and uh, it just shows. I mean, we have a full house here. The food was amazing and literally not one bad word could I say about this place. Okay, so I promise you this is the very last thing. This is the uh, Argentinian mashing tea. Beautiful, just a light aromatic tea and he added a bit of sugar for a bit of sweetness. It's a beautiful way to kind of cleanse your palate after a huge meal like that. Very light, very aromatic and uh, wow that's really really nice and there's a beautiful silverware as well so this is a traditional argentinian tea to finish an argentinian dinner 
That is one of the best dinners I've ever had in my life. So it truly was one of the best dinners I have ever had in my life. I mean, the food was fantastic, but the service was impeccable. Sachin, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Uh, the interior, the restaurant, the people, the bar staff, everyone was just absolutely lovely. The head chef was both extremely polite and a fantastic cook. So all around, it was honestly a 10 out of 10 experience. If you're in that part of the world, I highly recommend you call in and say hello. Tell them the Fit Kitchen sent you. Thank you so much for watching. Keep on cooking. Ciao, ciao.